Good morning, welcome to my channel. Um, it's been a little over a week since I've made a video, so I thought it was probably time. Um, today in the mail, I got uh, the Der Derwent Ink Tint 72 pack of um, watercolor pencils from Derwent. And I thought I'd do a little unboxing with you guys today. I've not opened them yet, so um, this is how they came. It did not come wrapped at all, and the lid um, just pops right off. Um, the inside seems to be wrapped, so I'm going to go ahead and um, pop this open. So it looks like there's more than one layer here. Um, these are some really nice colors. Um, I have a set of the watercolor from uh, the watercolor pencils from uh, Prismacolor, um, and there's only 36 colors. So I wanted to get a more extensive set, and this set has the 72 in it. Um, these are all the colors that come with it right here. But I'm going to get ready to show you guys these colors as well. Now the Prismacolor doesn't have near as many colors in it and so you're going to have a, a wider range of variety with the Derwent. So this is the, the top layer and here is the second layer. What a fabulous set. This is this is really nice. Um, I'm going to take these out here so you guys can see them a little better. Show you guys those colors. Now these dark ones look um, a lot alike on the video, but um, as I'm looking at them here, um, you can see there's there's a difference. A lot of the browns here and grays have a green tint or a red tint, um, so that really differentiates the colors in the spectrum right here. Lots of beautiful colors, a lot of oranges, lots of greens, lots of blues, and even lots of different reds and oranges. I mean, just lots of every kind of color. This is a really great set. I like it. I've not used these before, so I'm going to test these out um, while I'm here with you today. And I will be using regular watercolor paper. Um, I'm going to scoot these up here and bring down my paper. So I have just regular watercolor paper. Um, in another video, I will be doing um, a test against the Prismacolor watercolor pencils. So I'll compare and contrast these two um, as a set. So let me go ahead and just pick a couple colors out here. Um, we're going to go, not that light of a color, how about Chili Red and Golden Yellow. I'm going to uh, do these two colors here. Um, I'm, I'm going to do them on dry watercolor paper first, and then I'll do them on wet watercolor paper, and then I'll blend them. See how well they do. Now, each one of these pencils have a number right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. There we go. A number, the color, um, the symbol for Derwent, um, and it'll say Derwent Ink Tents, and then they are manufactured in the UK and England. So let me go ahead and test, let me zoom in just a bit so we can see very clearly. So this is the chili red. And I'm going to lay down quite a bit of ink here and then I'm going to lay down a light bit here. And I'm going to do the same with the yellow, a heavier lay down and then a light lay down. I'd like to see how the how it works with just um, the light on it first, and I'm using an aqua brush. Okay, so even the light has quite a bit of pigment in it. Um, comparatively, the dark will give you a much richer tone, um, obviously, um, and it does not leave much of a trace of where it was. 
at all. These are really nice. I like the pigment in them. They blend um, on the paper very well. I'm going to test them later in this video to see how well they actually blend together. The pigment almost comes alive when you add the water to it. And that is really nice to see. Um, I, so far, like these better than the Prismacolor ones. Um, again, I'll do a video to see how those look comparatively here in a little bit. So let me see how well they blend. So I'm going to leave a gap between the two, and that's where I'm going to blend the colors at. And again, I'm just using a water brush. I'm going to start with the light color. And then I'm going to um, rinse that out. And then I'm going to do the darker color. And I'm not blending them yet. I just wanted to get the pigment on the page, wiping my brush off, and now I'm going to blend them. Look at that. That is a beautiful orange color. So they blend very, very well, seamlessly, really. Um, and you can see with the darker color, you can see a little patch of where I drew on the page, but it's not much. And I didn't use much water here. So I think that if you used a little bit more water, you'd be able to get that out. And of course, if you left the pigment darker, um, instead of spreading it out like I did, you would be able to cover that up as well. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to do it on the wet paper now and see if there's much of a difference. Get this nice and wet on there. Wow. I mean, you can just tell. I'm just going to leave that like it is and let you guys watch how it bleeds out there. Very nice. You will be able to get a lot of watercolor effects with these pencils. Um, very nice ones. Okay, so now I'm going to um, use the aqua brush and just get a bit of the color off of the end here. You can see it on my brush. So even that works really well. And I... I really like this. This this is really nice. And um, later today, I'm going to do a little comparing between the Prismacolor and these pencils. Um, I don't have any other brand of watercolor pencils. I don't have Crayola. I don't have anything like that. Um, so these are the only two I can compare and contrast. I know that Spectrum Nord just came out with a line of the Aqua pencils. And Prima has, has a line as well. So I just wanted to try these out real quick, and um, up next, um, I will be doing a demonstration for um, another product I got in the mail today, so stay tuned for that. Thank you so much for watching, and happy coloring.